people don't do this properly so i thought i will give you a brief uh, information about how to install the terminal adapter first you have to take your usb cable one side will go at the back of the computer in the motherboard directly into the motherboard please don't connect it in the front because then the length of the cable of usb becomes very big and it does not work reliably so this end will go into this adapter here so if you see that you have these male headers and male headers are soldered on to this side in one of the area you will see that all of them are all of them are round but only one is the square one that is the uh, that is the side from where you have to start installing the cable so now what do you do you take this small cable the red side the red side of it should match with the square one so the first one will go like this red will go to this side and then we take the second one second one also red will go into the same side one side this was wrong so let me put it correctly yeah it's on the same side so here you go this is the actual way of connecting this later on when we are actually working with the tool we will talk about installing of these and actually making them work with our uh, software also here you see that i have put the terminal adapter here but i have not hooked up the usb into the computer because i first have to install download and install the drivers for this terminal adapter also yeah there are separate drivers for the terminal adapter all right we are again into en.mrtlab.com front slash downloads which is in user center so now we scroll down and here we will see that down below it says driver of usb to com adapter and download so it's a you have to save this into the same location where you did it last time so now it is downloading i'll stop the frame and uh, once it is downloaded then we'll talk about it later on so here you go we have downloaded the uh, the comport uh, terminal adapter drivers from the mrt website so we go on to this place and we extract it uh, using winrar it creates a directory called cp210x this is for the information of everybody that most of these tools are actually utilizing uh, scilabs uh, usb to com port adapter to create these terminal adapters so if you are really interested in getting the latest drivers you can go to scilabs website it's a microcontroller manufacturer and you can download the latest drivers also anyway we'll click on to this click over here and it it says here uh, you know installation for 64 bit for uh, i think so 32 bit so i click on to 32 bit and uh, here you go the task comes it says i accept the agreement next and it says ready to install and it's finished this is the only work you have to do after this when you will actually physically connect the terminal adapter into the computer it will detect it and a new com port will be created so i have physically plugged this into the back of my computer and now you can easily see that it says that uh, your device is ready to use so this means it has installed the drivers for this this is how this is going to look when connected to the computer and uh, i find it pretty interesting <laughs> actually i've never worked on the two channel uh, adapter before so it's pretty interesting for me as i had told you earlier that I, that i feel that the cables are not very large that is true even now so that is it all right so my device uh, manager is open and if i expand my ports the common the lpt port section you will see 
that I have COM port 1, COM port 2 which are physically connected on my motherboard. Then I have a printer port also which is physically connected on my motherboard. Then it clearly gives me two new ports COM3 and COM4. So COM3 is one of the channels of this new terminal adapter which we had installed and uh, COM4 is the other channel. So it clearly says Silicon Labs Dual CP210X USB to UART. UART means COM port bridge enhanced COM port and then it says Scilabs uh, dual CP210X USB to UART bridge standard COM port. I don't know why it doesn't say enhanced COM port for both or it does not say standard COM port for both but till the time the damn thing is doing the work how does it matter? Okay so now we are running the main software the MRT software which is there on the screen and uh, immediately after I uh, run the tool I get a window which says user registration so it has taken my machine code and now it wants me to put that machine code into my account then generate the activation code and put it back but just when I was about to read that I immediately got a pop-up uh, notification of uh, uh, this new software I have installed where uh, MRT is actually telling the uh, uh, telling us clients that it has opened an online recharge system so there is no need to uh, you know give money to the old uh, uh, you know to the old PayPal account so this is good so people should actually read what they have written over here off to the next uh, slide so all right that pop-up notification is off now you can clearly see that it gives me the machine code on the top and it is asking me to enter the registration code down so what I need to do is I need to copy this machine code by pressing the copy button and then I need to go online to their website uh, I had showed you that where we can enter this information then we need to enter the machine code there and it should generate a registration code I am not very sure whether we will be able to do it right now because our product is not still activated at their end so if it is not then we will not be able to use it but if it is we will be able to log in into the main screen let's see that all right so you can see i am back into my account which i have created on the vip uh, website which they have and i have gone into this last uh, thing which says device activation here I have entered my machine code which is generated by my tool and I have put that and uh, I am just supposed to press the submit button and once I press the submit button I should be getting another screen in this case I don't know whether it will work or not because I don't think it should work it's a 50-50% because it is not activated at there and let's see alright so as soon as I press the submit button I got this message it says the serial number is not bound to the user please contact us to bind one thing <laughs> MRT lab is that your English is improving since the last time <laughs> I was doing this so this is like proper English for this anyway so to we I'll wait for tomorrow we'll shoot this tomorrow once they bind this to our account and we are able to bypass the screen and actually run this tool once we are able to go into this tool that is the time our this current video uh, shoot will be over I am not going to discuss about the uh, you know how to work with this tool in this video because this video sh shoots are big I mean I need to divide it into three parts and post it on to YouTube all right so possibly this is the last shoot that uh, of the clip which we are doing now after a few days I have come to office was not very well and uh, we again are greeted with the same message that uh, we have to activate our MRT I am all ready let us uh, do this so first of all we are going to copy the entire machine code here and we press control A here or I think it might be able to copy this 
then we go into our v, uh, our VIP account click on to device activation and once we reach that screen I think we can paste from clipboard and it says allow access we say ok allow access and here we have our uh, machine code pasted into it we press the submit button and uh, we get the entire uh, uh, we get the entire registration code if you see it has automatically found out the serial number of my product also so I say copy to clipboard and uh, then I go back into MRT and uh, over here I paste this entire register code uh, registration code and I press the register button uh, it says the controller is not yet activated whether to activate now I think this is the first time we are doing it it's running this is the first time uh, we are doing it so that is the reason it is saying that so we say okay this activates our product and uh, welcome to use MRT please restart the application I am happy that they are having good English uh, uh, translations uh, and I hope they keep, keep on improving the English translations and we press the OK button now let's see uh, if we are greeted with anything I don't think so the program is starting we will need to restart it and one thing to note is you have to run this as administrator or change the settings here you go uh, it is giving me a notification again that same PayPal thing that I had discussed with you and here you go so we can select what all interfaces we need to connect with this ATA 0, ATA 1, ATA 2, ATA 3 and we select all of them and here we are into the tool so I'll just uh, press the button and see if my lights are coming up inside of different different channels you guys are not going to uh, see that but I am able to see that from the side so all good and uh, all said and done uh, this completes the entire registration installation and setup of the MRT ultra tool and soon we'll release some more videos with the actual usage of the product uh, okay so before uh, closing the entire thing I thought that you should see my face before we close this entire three to four series episodes so my student Bijli's tool is activated and running so for the next two days we are going to work with a lot of drives and uh, hopefully in that time or after that time we will shoot a lot of series of how to use the tool, different different utilities etc etc and make a lot of videos and post them online so this is your uh, host Amarbir from Chandigarh Data Recovery CDR Labs Chandigarh India uh, signing off and uh, if you have any data recovery uh, data recovery cases uh, you are most welcome to contact us on 9815 and speak to me or my colleagues in the office till that time see you